Then on the second part, if this is draw, B equals one to our construction lines, okay? Then we make your base. So this is one to our, one to our line, okay? Then there's a bottom circle of radius 15, that is 30 divided by 2. Radius 15. that in order to find the distance from the bottom circle to the top circle we are given an arc of radius 56 so that means we're going to draw an arc of radius 56 and the point where the arc intersects with the straight line that is the radius of the upper circle of radius 13 this is the upper circle of the radius 13 on the z board then you also have a circle of radius circle of radius 20 at the top on this point then on the bottom also you have a circle of radius 24 this is the construction line okay then you've got an arc which is an exterior arc which joins this circle and this circle so in order to draw an exterior arc you just add the radius of the arc which is 36 plus the radius of the circle that is 24, 24 plus 36, that gives you 60. Then to draw the arc on the, on the second circle, which is the upper circle, you just say the radius, which is 20, plus the radius of the arc, that is 36, 20 plus 36, that gives you 56. Then you strike an arc. And that arc is the intersection of the intersection of this arc is the center of the arc that joins those two circles. Then you open a canvas which is 36 and you draw an arc that joins the two circles. Okay? Then you also have a big arc of radius 76. You have a big arc of radius 76. Draw that arc. And the bottom circle is your center. Okay. Then you have to take a 45 degree 30 square and you draw an angle of 45 degree. And you draw a line which is five degrees below the horizontal, five degrees below the horizontal, that is here, and five degrees is here, and that line. Exactly this line. Okay. Then the intersection of the fifty six of the of the arc that is the radius of fifty six is the center of an arc that is got a radius of twenty. So you open the numbers at twenty. In there, and this is the arc. You've got an arc of radius 20 right here. Then you strike an arc. Then we have an arc of radius 12. This is the center of a 
it in Echo Pages 4. So I draw in Echo Pages 4 on both sides. Okay? Then you can join this. In canvas, and you also have an arc of radius 4. And this is still the same radius 4, so radius 20, and arc of radius 20. This is still the same. Then you draw an arc, and then I draw. An interior arc, we join this step and this step. What do you do? Your interior arc is a radius of 76. So you just subtract the radius of the circles from the radius of the arc. So you're going to say 76 minus the radius of this circle, that is 20. 76 minus 20, that gives you 56. You strike an arc. Same strike and arc. Then you say 76 minus this radius that is 24. 76 minus 24 that gives you 54. You send the strike 54, and that is the center of your arc. The radius of the arc is 76. That is the center of your arc. Then you draw your arc, and you are only left with the arc that joins this circle and this circle, and that arc is going to be the exterior. So you just add the arc of the radius of the arc that joins this circle and the radius of the circle which the arc joins. That is 20 plus 20, that is 40. Send the draw 40. This circle is this, this got the radius of 42, so that means 40. Then, what is the radius of that arc? The radius of that arc is 20, so that means we join here 15. I think they would just be placed okay. And now, the only thing you have to do is just outline.